Okay, so what that looks like is... Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new New World video. Today I have tips and tricks for you guys for bow users, sword and shield, etc. Uh, I am a bow main channel so if you guys like what I do or like the skills that I provide, uh, please consider subscribing, liking the video, and sharing with your friends and family. Uh, my content is very fun, informative, and if you guys think so, please consider doing the things I just talked about. Uh, tips, real quick. Let's talk about um, myths real quick. Now, people think doing a heavy into or while crocking a heavy, you have to crouch to make that animation come out quicker. It's actually not true. Let's just go ahead and cover that real quick. Even double crouching will not make that heavy arrow come out any quicker. So stop doing that. The only time this is actually beneficial is if you're going against another bow user and you just quickly dodge a headshot or a skill shot that they're going to do on you. That's pretty impressive actually if you can pull that off. So cool. Now it's done and completed. Next thing is going to go over into your dodge roll. Super, super easy dude. Uh, if you guys didn't know this, this will elevate your gameplay. Watch your opponents miss their abilities on you because you're just running circles around them. Now, if you are going to do a stagger or a stun, some people will go into a, a stun like this and roll right past them. So your dodge roll is four meters from the point of dodging. So four meters, that's pretty far. Now you don't want to go right here and then dodge to the side and then still have to walk up a little bit closer just to get that dodge or that rogue backstab hit in, right? now. You don't want to go into a shield bash and walk your ass around them just to poke them just like this. You have your ability frames or your iframes are not up at the time, so your damage or your, your vulnerability is up right now. So let's mitigate that. So you want to go into a, let's say that's the shield bash. You want to, if you're going to dodge right, you need to have your camera look left. And then once, as soon as your character is behind them, release the directional key. Just like that. So I'm going to do it again, we're in front of him, do it again, I'm behind him. So this is going to be super detrimental for your gameplay, uh, especially abilities that are trying to, they're, where they're trying to CC you, you just dodging right behind them or getting right behind them super quick, they're going to be having to turn their cursor around to find you. That is going to be your advantage on them if you learn this ability. So. Again, I'm going to dodge left. My camera needs to follow the opponent going right. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Boom. And that's how you do it, guys. So just go ahead and make circles around your opponents. Watch them try their hardest to kill you using their CCs, and they just can't hit you. So that's another tip I have for you. Now, before we get into the most talked about Part of the video which is going to be the animation cancels i want to show you another ability that or another combo when it comes to uh, sword and shield with bow this here is my link build and if you guys haven't seen the video go ahead and click the annotation card on the top right of the screen that will show you and break down what my build is and what it looks like and what you can do with it i did just learn yesterday what you can do with the with the the stunt so if you stun somebody switch to your bow and just proc your poison shot right next to their feet they're still going to stay stunned until you cause a direct hit to wake them up that's when they will start to move around so you want to go into a shield bash into the poison shot they're still stunned and then you want to go into a explosive arrow and that will be your combo for the sword and shield and bow this is an additional combo that you can Im implement into your gameplay if your character or the opponent you're taking or fighting on is too tanky. If they're too tanky, this is actually a very good ability or com combo to do because you're watching their health dwindle down. Or if they're chasing you down, you have, you, you have two other abilities. You can get away using Leaping Strike, and if they get too close to you again, you can just Shield Bash them in, and if you have the ability where you slow them down, here, all the way down, 
which I don't have, you can slow them for 30% for four seconds and that will also help you get away. If you have a crit, if you have a crit, which I don't have these abilities, you can gain 20% haste for five seconds. Then you can for sure get away. Um, I would recommend doing that type of build if you are too squishy and etc. Now that combo add to your uh, repertoire and this will help you elevate your gameplay. Okay, now let's get into the best part of the video. Now animation cancels with the bow are extremely helpful. It can get you killed if you're not using them in the best timing or in the right situations. The only time I find that it's very, very easy to do and easy to pull off is when your opponent is about this far away from you. Uh, this is going to be the best time to use the animation cancels to put in so much damage and so on. If you are about this close to the enemy, they can easily le you know, leap strike at you or throw gravity well at you or even reap you, I think, from that distance and just pull you right in, stop your animations, stop your flow, and you just take an, <coughs> take an L. <coughs> now, the standard way to shoot a bow, this is, the, this is the fastest way. I'm just doing lights, right? This is the fastest way. Keep this timing in your mind. Not the best, right? It's super slow, and it doesn't do a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and up your invulnerability frames with your damage. So instead of just doing this and walking in reverse, trying to get away from your opponent, you are still invulnerable. You're not iframing anything at all, and you can take any type of damage. So if you go ahead and shoot and roll, shoot and roll, shoot and roll, shoot and roll, that will be your invulnerability frames kicking in. So that means you might dodge one or two abilities, and you can continue that pressure with the lights. Now let's go ahead and up the time of damage but keeping the same invulnerability frames up so what that looks like is you're gonna want to shoot proc an ability such as rain of arrows poison shot or penetration shot to animation cancel so you're gonna proc it then roll and then shoot ability roll shoot ability roll shoot so what that looks like is gonna look like this shoot ability roll shoot ability roll shoot ability roll shoot just like that. I missed his head, but you get the idea. I do have a video that I'm going to be playing for you guys, and it'll be a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm not sure if I can put the time frames on, but you can see that I'll start the first arrow launching out of the bow, and then you can see that the animation cancel is going to be a bit quicker than the standard roll. Uh, so here it is. Awesome. So now that you understand and know how to do that, I need you guys to know that it works in any directional key that you're placing. So you can do it backwards. You can do it from the side as soon as my abilities come back up or my uh, stamina. You can do it from the side as we mentioned. And you can even go doing it forward. So if you're chasing someone and they're really low, you can go just chase, chase, chase and just quickly get in that burst. Another quick tip before we get into the actual animation cancels that you saw in the beginning of the video is going to be your your standard hip fire shot. Believe it or not, your hip fire shot will actually kind of gravitate to an enemy. So it doesn't matter if you're kind of off a little bit. If it if the game senses there's a player in your cursor, it will kind of have bloom. So your arrows are not always accurate. You'll see that it'll kind of go to the side or left or right if it shows a player. So that that arrow kind of deviated downward. So I don't know what it is, but your lights like this from the hip will make your life a little easier chasing squishy squirrels. So if, they, if a squirrel is kind of dodging you side to side, left and right, weaving, weaving, dodging, dodging, things like that, just go in for a standard light like this. It's actually very quick. It's faster than doing a an aim down the sight arrow like this. So just go ahead and hip fire them. Try to keep that cursor on them and you'll find that the bloom will go towards the character and you will strike them very, very quickly. 
So you see how my arrows are deviating because I'm walking around and moving? This will actually, I think it's a little easier trying to hit them from the hip than aiming in because the, again, the bloom, it's gonna, the arrow is gonna magnify towards the opponent and that's how you kill them. Uh, a squishy player that's literally one arrow away or one shot. So try to try to do that, implement it into your, your gameplay and see if it works because it does work for me. Now, the bread and butter of the video. This is the fine, I saved the, the best for last. This is going to up your invulnerability frames just as much as the other ones do, but maximize your amount of damage time. You're going to be shooting double the arrows in the same amount of dodge rolls that you have. Why? It's because you're going to be utilizing the Reign of Arrows ability to also add an additional animation cancel. Now, what that looks like, I'm going to go from here to there. I'm going to hold the A key and I'm also gonna keep my aim locked on. I'm not gonna move, I'm not gonna take that aim off my target whatsoever, and I'm not gonna take my key or my finger off that A key or D key, doesn't matter. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin. What it looks like is you're gonna aim, shoot, proc your ability, dodge out of it, just like normal animation cancel. Shoot, proc your ability, and then you're gonna shoot again. But if you guys do what I told you is walk from here, to there, keep your aim on and locked and targeted on your target. You will find that the animation will do it, will cancel on its own. So it'll look, it'll look like this. Okay, so what that looks like is. So if I counted correctly, I think that's seven arrows, maybe eight, not so sure. Um, but you can get off another arrow. So uh, for instance, if you were to. So is it is it seven? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you can do a rapid uh, or a flame shot or explosive shot to make it eight, and that is going to be a very damaging combo. So you could do that. Try it. Uh, do as I said. So the combination is going to be holding the A or D key or the forward key. Doesn't matter what you do. Keeping your aim on lock. You're going to want to shoot proc your animation cancel, shoot, and then you're gonna click that ability key, it has to be the rain of arrows. If you're holding left, right, or straight, and the arrow, and I mean, and the the aiming button, it, you will find that the animation will cancel on its own. So trust me on that, you'll find that your damage time is going to be elevated because of this animation to cancel. I messed up there, but you know. Practice, practice, practice. That is the key. That is the goal. That is what we do here. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. I hope this uh, taught you a lot of things. Um, I'm trying to learn a lot of cancellations. I'm trying to learn a lot of skills in my PvP adventures. I'm trying to get better for you guys so I can highlight my skills on YouTube and just really, really just go ham on these, on these people. Uh, I'm tired of getting killed by a lot of heavy users. <laughs> Mind you that I don't have any type of thrust or strike resistance. Sorry, strike or um, slash resistance. But you got, you get my point, right? So 25 thrust resist. I'm, I'm tired of get, getting killed by uh, by bows and uh, and spears. But I still die from spears. They're they're incredibly hard to get away from. So don't let them get near you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as I mentioned. Leave a like and comment down below. Subscribe if you guys like the, the tips that I just provided you today. I will definitely have a lot more. If you guys need a more clear and depth guide on this later, please, I will uh, consider making a brand new and get in depth video. And if you guys subscribe and you're staying tuned to my videos, you will even see more PvP content with me utilizing this skill. So, hope you guys are excited uh, as much as I am. So, peace. I'll see you guys in the next video.